Well, I think I'm really lucky, especially to work somewhere like Iowa State and having played somewhere like Iowa State, because I feel like the athletic department here really respects women's athletics and really does a good job um, and is really cognizant that they give the female athletes here a really great opportunity and great resources. When I walk into Hilton and I see the fans and I see thousands of people supporting a, a women's volleyball team, I know we matter, we're important, we're valued, that's important. And um, it makes it rewarding to work here, it makes it easy to work here. I've always felt that if I have an issue or there's, so, there's something I see and I speak out about it, I've always felt like there are you know, lots, lots of people that come and support and you know help us resolve it. For me, it's a very, um, supportive and just comfortable place to work. Well, I think the women's programs here, the women's sports are really well, um, I don't want to say funded, although I think that's part of it, but they're really well supported. I think that's a better way to say it. Um, and there are also a lot of female coaches here. Um, and that's something I think is terrific, something um, you can't help but notice. Unfortunately, like I wish it wasn't something that you, that you you know, kind of took note of, but it's something I certainly took note of when I was considering whether or not, you know, this was the right career opportunity for me and the right move for my family. Um, you can't help but feel like, hey, you know, they have a, a number of female coaches, there are a number of female head coaches. Um, this has to be a good environment um, for women and for women in athletics. And so that was really um, something I was, felt really good about. And I think it's great for the athletes here at Iowa State to see female leadership. Seeing now as as a professional in at Iowa State, the support that we receive across all of our sports and the equitability in facility improvements speaks volumes. And Iowa State is such a special place from when I came here in 1999 from a community perspective or the fan base or the student athletes as peers. It was very special all the time. So it's cool to see how things continually improve. Right, and I think if you step out of Iowa State is when you notice it. Because if you walk into Hilton, you don't know if you're going to do a men's event or a women's event. You know, until you see the floor, you don't really know because there are there is so much excitement and the seats are full and there's a lot of passion for our female sports, the same as our men's sports. Um, but so then when you travel to other areas of the country or other schools, you really realize how lucky we are here and that that's not the case everywhere. And it certainly is always getting better. We're just so fortunate to have the fan base that we have here. Iowa State fans are literally the best. Like in the Big 12, we go everywhere in the Big 12 and the fans are okay there. But when we come here at Iowa State, like it is packed in every game and it's just so cool to see that. And I think honestly, we probably have the best fan base for volleyball in the Big 12. Iowa State does an absolutely phenomenal job, I think, um, promoting and advocating for, for women and for our female student athletes. Um, that starts at the top, so with leadership, with Jamie and with our president. Um, you know, you see it all across campus too, not just within athletics. There are a number of women in really important roles administratively on campus, teaching classes on campus. Um, you know, you see it all across the board here at Iowa State, and I think that that's really special. And again, it starts from great leadership and kind of setting the tone and, and making sure that um, you know, all of the administrative staff kind of supports that mission as well.